Oh, hi! This week we're gonna make do-it-yourself shrinky dinks. Definitely just knocked my glasses off my face. We're gonna make some shrinky dinks out of a used takeout container. Here's what you need. You're going to need some kind of plastic container that uses number six plastic. Some sanding paper, unless you're using only Sharpies for your coloring devices. I'm using colored pencils for mine. I don't know if you've picked up on this part yet, but if you try to color on smooth plastic like that with a colored pencil, it ain't gonna do shit. So you're gonna sand down a side and rough it up and that will get the color to stay. Then you can freehand whatever the fuck you want. I am going to trace some images from some comic books. Now I'm obviously not going to be selling any of these, so I don't feel bad tracing anything. Pro tip, if you want to make these into keychains or necklace pendants that you can put jump rings through, you will need a single hole punch. Oh wait, the actual most important tool you're going to need here is an oven. <laughs> all right, now that I have scratched the shit out of all of my plastic pieces, it's time to trace and color. Just a little wisdom to pass on from dumb 11 year old me. You won't want whatever image to be on the right side on this shinier side. If you're doing any letters, just make sure you do them backwards on the scratched up side because that's the side you'll be coloring on, but it'll be flipped. One last pro tip, these will all shrink to about like a third of the size. So just keep that in mind. So I remember when I was like, hey guys, make sure you don't do anything with like really small detail. And then all of my pieces are at least this intricate, if not more. Definitely been a good two hours of tracing and coloring. So I'm left-handed. So this is kind of per usual. But my right hand has actually accumulated more uh, pencil lead than my left hand. And I'm not even mad about the cleanup. I'm like reveling in this right now. So now I'm going to hole punch all the pieces I have. Trying not to mess up the image too much, but also putting it in a good place to put jump rings through. Because I'm going to make the gaudiest pendant out of a lot of these. These are all on the pan with some parchment paper. This is preheating to 350. Oh, it's so weird. That took no time. They curled up and got tinier. Gee, they got so tiny. That took like 30 seconds to maybe a minute. But if it takes, you know, up to five, just keep an eye on it because it'll happen so quick. Holy shit. Look how little all the holes are. You guys. Oh god. I killed Ramona. The way I punch holes in this one, I can fit all of the Belcher family with their little pendants on the bottom here and then hang them from the top up here. This might be a present, so I don't want to show the finished result on here anyway. I just want to common law marry this beer. 